So this is where the arms trade is to take place. Clouds move swiftly overhead, just as they did on that day. Looks like more war on the horizon. The life of a soldier, huh? The coin's good, but will I be able to spend it before I'm in the dirt? <sighs> we just have to endure. How much world can there be to conquer? Oh, noble protectors of the castle, would you care to buy any oil? My son is soon to serve within the keep. I mean to celebrate his appointment with a gift. Stay away from us, low-born scum. I can smell your stench from here. Oh, I... I apologize, sir. Forgive me. Was that really necessary? What does it matter? He would thank me for ending his pitiful existence. If he could. <laughs> Do you shed a tear when squashing an insect? Ku will soon grow beyond the need of such rabble. Why? Why did this happen? Why did father have to die? This is life in Ku. The king cares only about growing his borders, no matter how many lowborn he crushes underfoot. They killed father for no reason, like he was no better than a fly buzzing around their ears. Prince Hikari. Hmm. Come here to pray for the lowborn? A rare sight. I'll find the men responsible for this, and they will pay. That won't bring my father back. Won't stop this from happening again. So long as we are lowborn, a boot on our neck is the best we can hope for. Isn't that right, my prince? You can call me Hikari. And you are? Ritsumi Shuyo. Remember it well. I don't plan on groveling in the mud forever. Ritsu. I look forward to hearing the name again. Don't cry, Mika. See those clouds, Hikari? I'm going to etch my name upon them. Bold enough for father to see. Just you wait. First things first. I need more information about this shipment. I should start by finding that merchant Kazan told me about. Azuma, was it? This do. Thank you, thank you. Any small business you can afford me is much appreciated. 
I sense greatness stirring within you. I suppose Kazan wouldn't have thrown his lot in with you otherwise. What is it he always says? An eagle can take the measure of man and mead alike from afar. Now, as for the matter of this transaction, a little bird told me it will take place deep within the forest, out of sight from prying eyes. Even so, these weapons are vital to Ku's plans and will likely be heavily guarded. Go with caution. I will. Many thanks for the advice. This mission shall determine the course of our nation. It is a great honor to be assigned guard duty, Captain Ritsu Mishuyo. An honor I am all too proud to accept, General. I know of your humble origins. You've done well to reach your station. See these weapons delivered safely, and His Majesty will surely lift you even higher. Yes, General. I'll protect the shipment with my life. valuable insight. I am General Roe of Ku. I come here in His Majesty's stead. I don't care a whit for titles or names. Show me the coin. It's been a pleasure. Almost disappointingly uneventful. Well then, load up the wagons. Prince Hikari? Those weapons stay where they are. But I won't shed blood if I can avoid it. I must set an example for the future of my home. Leave this place now, and you'll keep your lives. Hikari. They say you're a traitor. His Majesty has put a pretty price on your head. If you do not stand down, you will face my blade. Let the experiment begin. Thinking. This is the answer. Study harder. Curses. Enough. You're no match for me. Hikari. 
Read so. I see you yet live, my prince. Leave the weapons here and go. <sighs> You've come all this way just to snatch glory from my hands again? Fine. I'll repay the debt I owe you. There will be no quarter this time, Ritsu. No one will keep me from guiding Ku to the future I envision. A future without bloodshed. Ha! A grand idea. Why do you need that sword, then? Seems to me that's an instrument of death, not peace. Or am I wrong, Hikari? Who is the product of an endless cycle of war? It was built upon a mountain of sacrifices. So long as Mugen is king, nothing will change. But this sword will sever that vicious cycle. <laughs> it seems you've chosen your path, my prince. But you chose wrong. You should have followed Lord Mugen. General Roe, you had my father's ear, his trust. Sheathe your sword, please. I don't want to fight you. My allegiance is to the kingdom, whosoever may wear the crown. And we are here by direct order of his majesty. We cannot simply abandon our duty. If you mean to take these weapons from us, then it will have to be by force. But be prepared to find out why they call me the Wild Bull of Ku. Better men than you have crumpled before my charge. I never wanted to cross swords with you, who served my father so faithfully. But if you insist on forcing me to bear steel... If I must. <laughs> this is what you wanted, isn't it, Hikari? <sighs> Brace yourself, Prince Hikari. I am General Ro, the Wild Bull of Ku. I shall skewer you upon my horns. Prepare your uh, My blade saves. <sighs> Predictable. Here I come. Prepare your <laughs> It's over. Now it my blood. Hienka! God, stop lying to yourself. You want to kill. You want to be bathed in this weakling's blood. Allow me to help you with that. <laughs> what? It Prepare yourself. Hienka! Who's next? It's red. <laughs> How much longer will you deny your true nature? How much longer must I tolerate this farce? See a shadow looms at your back, Lord Hikari. <sighs> Enjoy the time you have. 
For one day, it will consume you. General Rowe! Fall back, Captain Ritsu. What? But... Ikari... You will never be king. I'll see to it personally. I'll be waiting for your homecoming. Ritsu... What happened to me? Have I lost control? This cannot stand. I won't be forced to hurt my friends again. General Rowe, why didn't you let me take his head then and there? Have you heard nothing of the accursed blood of Clan Ku? I've seen it before, in battle. Something possesses them. It has delivered many a warrior of Clan Ku from the brink of death to the crest of victory. A victory which leaves no survivors. <clears throat> Be grateful that you escaped with your life. A cursed blood? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Sounds like nonsense to me. Regardless, we have failed, His Majesty. There will be a reckoning. General. I failed no one. You were the one who showed your weakness today. What? You arrogant cur! Don't dirty my name by including me in your blunder. And your reckoning has already arrived. W wait I'll apologize to his majesty on your behalf, by gifting him your head. <sighs> the deed is done. Now, what to do with all these weapons? My prince, I have no doubt your mission will go off without a hitch. And when it does... Pray, bring the weapons to the town of Ryu. I'd hate to see such fine equipment go to waste. We will have defanged our enemy and sharpened our talons in turn. An eagle affords himself every advantage. Sometimes it feels like I'm just another piece in his games. Hmm. Master Kazan! Welcome, my prince. And well done on procuring those weapons. Procuring? You made me into a bandit. But I suppose I shouldn't complain, given the results. How have your preparations gone while I was away? <laughs> I know that smile. Before us is a foe mightier than any we faced before. A man of my profession does feel stimulated by such a challenge. Reassuring words. Let's have a toast, eh? 
Tonight, we drink. We've won nothing yet. You shouldn't drink before the victors have been decided. If you insist, my prince. Well then, I believe you wanted to find our old friend Ryman. Indeed. The late Lord Jigo entrusted Clan May with stewardship over an outpost on the eastern continent. Their castle lies in the snow-swept northern reaches of the region. Stormhaven, it's called. Then I leave at once. Safe travels, my prince. When next we meet, it will be upon the battlefield. Treacherous coup worms! I should have known that peace was nothing but false promises! <laughs> Don't be a fool. Treaties exist to be broken. It's simply a matter of how therein lies the art. They made a pitiful effort at resisting your majesty, but now they've been subdued. Sa shall serve us well as a base of operations. Its survivors will bolster our numbers. Kill them all. But, your majesty, there were thousands. Children as well. The grudges they bear will become the seeds of their strength. Best to pluck them from the earth while we can. I won't give the command again, Ageha. Of course, Your Majesty. Ritsu Mishuyo reporting. I've just returned from my duty. And what of General Rowe? He was your leader, if I recall. He was, but he betrayed us, Your Majesty. He worked in the League with Prince Hikari. In secret, he told the Prince about the shipment, allowing him to steal the weapons. I was forced to flee, but not before taking the traitor's head. Is that so? You bested the wild bull. I, I would risk my very life if it meant one fewer traitor to your noble cause. Hmm. Well done, Ritsu Mishuyo. Still, the news that Hikari yet lives is troubling. He aims to take your throne and is gathering strength even now. Try as he might, he is a weakling at heart. Believe me. Your Majesty, do you believe that rubbish he fed you? <laughs> His words are worth less than nothing. Still, his boldness is impressive. That he would not scruple to use an ally's death for his own gain. I believe I can make use of this, Ritsu Mishuyo. <laughs> Change is upon us at last. Soon, the fires of war shall engulf the world. <laughs> 